Hey there. What's up everyone? My internet actually had some issues right now, so it showed me like the stream isn't running, so I'd love to know if there's anyone in chat. Um, if anyone's having any problems with the internet. And we're just gonna jump right into a league in a couple of minutes, I think. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's basically it. I'm still, I'm still recovering from a long day at work. But we're gonna take it chill today. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be fine. So this is weird, my stream manager, I think, is giving me some issues here. I'm gonna try and fix that and then I'm gonna start playing. Hope everyone's doing fine. Oh, now I think it's working, now it's better. Oh, now I think it's working, now it's better. Yeah, let's get this. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna play some Pioneer today. Um, and we're playing Sultai. I'm actually gonna change the display here. Not list view, I want pile view. Pile view, please. Okay. So, here's the thing Golf Spiral is one of the best cards in standard, right? Was. It's banned now. And Uro is one. Hey, Will, what's up? Good to see you here. Uh, we're gonna be playing some pioneer today and we're, we have some something spicy so as i was saying ghost spiral is pretty broken uro is definitely broken and gargaroth is actually pretty broken too i mean it's not uro but it's not that far yeah spice is good so i was kind of thinking why aren't we jamming ghost spiral in sultai mid-range now this is leaning even like towards a control yeah uro is is i mean i actually played it the first time i cast the first uro my first uro two weeks ago or something hey updraft elemental thank you for the follow good to see you i'm doing good i had a really long day at work but i mean playing magic streaming i think it's getting better now so um we're just gonna try and abuse good semi cards. I mean, look at all this this power level. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure the version that's gonna be better is gonna like we're gonna end up on a version that's gonna be like with Nissas and stuff like that. But I want to try some spice. I want to try the Gear Hulk Sublime Epiphany combo. I'm trying Shark Typhoon. I'm not sold on it yet, but I'm gonna give it a shot. And uh, yeah, let's just jump into a league. I think. So, haven't played these in a while. Let's go get him. I am sort of bragging about my water bottle. It's from the WM. It's from the Proto, actually. I think. But I hate Gideon. I would I would love to have any other planeswalker, but I mean you take what you get, right? So I haven't played I haven't played leagues in a while. I don't know how popular Pioneer is right now and how long are we gonna actually wait for a match. Hopefully not too long. Proter grab, yeah. What of the best parts of the Proter? Um <laughs> yeah, finger. I mean, Gideon died. I love that. So much fun. Oh, we're playing Wombo Combo. 
He's a pretty... Like... He's something... He's someone... I, I recognize his name. I think I follow him on Twitter. I don't know what he's on, though. So, yeah, I, it wasn't really... You know, it was the WMC. It was the World Magic Cup. Um, but it was amazing. Yeah, we keep in this hand. This hand is... This hand's gonna be fun. But the WMC was amazing. Oh, he's... Oh, I see. So we're just gonna, like, straight up lose this game, right? We're probably getting smashed. Um, I'm so rusty. I haven't played in so long. <laughs> yeah, we're keeping this hand. I mean, double thoughts is... Double thoughts is Golf Spiral is not something you mulligan, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if you're the only person who says that. Like, playing the WMC at first, I was a bit skeptic. I wasn't really following it at all. And, um, you know, when when Israeli players played, I wouldn't really pay attention. But when I actually got there, I realized how big it is. Like, my whole family just got to watch me play, and my friends, and even like people who don't know me or don't know I play Magic. So I, I see what you're saying here. Um, it was pretty, pretty awesome. And I'm really sorry no one's going to get that experience anytime soon. We're starting on Thoughtseize. They're playing, um, they're playing Reclamation. Oh, man. Is there a more Thoughtseize proof hand than this? <laughs> what are we getting here? Are we just taking the insights? Yeah, this hand is like... Thoughts is proof. <laughs> redundancy. Yeah. Wombo writes in chat redundancy. Yeah, this is like a beating. I mean, do I just take the insight? Because I want to prevent the draw to you. I think I do. I know it's a bit counterintuitive, but... I mean, we're not doing anything just taking Golf Spiral, right? They're still gonna curve out a bunch. I mean, we could take the Spiral just to take away the ability to go Golf Spiral into Double Golf Spiral, but I don't know if I don't know if this does anything for us. I'm gonna F6 this. Yeah. Oh, we got the catacomb. Okay, this is nice. So, oh, I actually need to shock here though. So I'm gonna go golf spiral into Thoughtsies here. Just gonna take advantage. I mean, this is what the deck wants to do. They're playing uh, Reclamation, which means I don't really need to get to care about life total, but maybe a bit. Hey, Shadow Ninja, what's up? Uh, did I always say what's up? Maybe. So yeah, going. Straight into Pioneer here. That's nice. That's Thought is again. Next turn we got to go Wayfinder. Oh, that's nice. We got to take expansion. Where do I know you from? I'm curious now. You drew that for turn? He says, he drew that for turn, not a punt. Secret. Wait, I need to make sure I know what's going on in their hand. This is what's going on in their hand. So opponent is saying, like, this is not a punt. I had, I drew that for the turn. Not sure what they mean here. Oh, I see. Oh, I see what he's saying. I mean, that's fine. I mean, I wonder why did his spiral. Maybe he has negate main deck. Well, we got lands. Um, yeah, let's just take the... We have all black, right? We can take more damage. I don't want to take more damage. I'm just taking cemetery here. Playing this, playing the Wayfinder.
Yeah, so either afraid of dispute or looking for a negate or something, but I don't think he had dispute mana up. Okay, another spiral, sure. We know nothing of their hand right now. Blast zone, that's fine. I only have one card in hand and no, nothing is Uro and we have everything. That was nice. Oh, he did have? Okay, sure. You know my brother. Shadow Ninja, I wonder who that is. Well, like, I'm never gonna guess, right? So they did it in sight. They just chose to use a bunch of spirals here. Ooh, we have Epiphany. So question is, do we want to Uro or do we want to Gargaroth? And I think we want to Uro probably. It is less pressure though. It does draws, uh, draws us more cards for the Epiphany up. It is a bit more vulnerable to dispute. Are you guys hearing the music? It's a bit actually weak for me. Gotta see what's up with that. Yeah, I'll be disputed anyways, but if they dispute the Uro, at least they don't get to Castle Vantress. And they could blast zone the Uro pretty easily. So maybe I just go Gagawath. I guess I do. Let's go attacking. Let's see what's up. Maybe they have a Shark Typhoon, which will make me change my plays. No, they're not playing it here. That's fine. I'm just playing Gargaroth, I think. It It's applying more pressure. I don't know. Maybe this is wrong. Is this a dispute? Am I getting rewarded here? Yeah, this is a dispute. You love to see it. Well, I mean, you don't love to see it, but... I mean, I think this puts us in a much better spot because now they can't inside or castle end of turn, which is really nice. Abrupt decay. This is probably, this matchup is probably a bit rough first game. Yeah, now we're just escaping this. And I don't think we really care about anything that's not an instant in the graveyard. Let's get that Uro. Okay, we got we got the Uro. This is pressure and card draw. Uh, I really wanted the land there, but sure. Yeah, castle, sure. I wonder why aren't they using the insight? I mean, they have it. Two cards at the bottom, you love to see it. Cycle Sensor, you love to see it. Let's get him. Wilderness Reclamation, I don't like that. This is not good for us. On the other hand, this is the deck, so. This is insight, I think. Oh, they're thinking. Nothing. That's cool. I can pass. Land. Oh, come on. We want the land. We want this epiphany to go off. Uh, let's go to combat. Oh, we just get to attack. That's nice. Land. Come on, land. Untap land. Not blooming marsh. Is this a shark typhoon? Yeah, sure. Shark Typhoon for two. I wonder if you even... Well, we can let triggers resolve before we decide if we want to push this or not. Sure. Do we get to draw? Okay, so we got to draw the card. Now, we got the land. So do we want to keep Epiphany up? Counter, counter, activated ability, return token and then permanent. Feature you control, target player draws a card. So they take seven anyway, right? We can just go second main phase attempt to bounce their thing or counter their triggered ability. 
I think we can just let this... Well, maybe they chum block. Do we want to let them chum block? I don't think we want to let them chum block. I don't think... Are we dying next turn? We're on 20? This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I don't think we're dying next turn anyway. I just want to push this. Let's go ghost fire the first. No, no lens into play. Um, I'm gonna go spiral again, actually, I think. No, okay, sure. So they're dead next turn. I mean, they're not dead dead, but they could use the blast zone, but I'm quite okay with that. They're just passing, sure. I mean, if they don't use the blast zone this turn, we can just epiphany the trigger. Oh, they're not blast zoning. Okay, they're just like expansion explosion. Yeah, maybe I should have just kept like epiphany up. I don't know. I just, it just loses to dispute so hard, so I don't really think it's doing anything for us. They are down to four. I mean, these creatures are actual threats here. Um, do I want to just push this in response? Not really, right? That's okay. So they drew a bajillion cards. Sultai charm. We got the Sultai charm. Um, I just want another land though. If this was trophy, I'd be I'd like that much more. Let's start by going to attackers. Let's see what's up here. They have about a bajillion cards in hand. I mean, Sultai Charm just gets rid of Reclamation, right? But does it do anything for us? They could still wipe these. Guilty fear of God, no rhythm. I think we have to Uro here. I think because otherwise like if we had to go Uro Sultai Charm maybe we just did this I'm gonna try an Uro here I don't know if this is correct or not oh we need exactly a blue source No, let's go ahead and pass the turn. I'm gonna try and get them with like Epiphany or Sultai Charm. Probably Epiphany. It's probably not gonna work, but... This was such a weird game. Do they have an Uro in the graveyard? They don't, right? They are hardcasting Shark Typhoon. So do I just let this resolve and then go to Epiphany this? Or do I just let this resolve and kill this? I think I do. Or I just go like destroy target enchantment in response. I mean this plays around dispute. Do they have the either gust? They have the main deck either gust. That is annoying. That's really bad. Um, so you gotta go one, two, three. Let's put that on top, sure.
Yep. Resource. I'm gonna decay this end step. I mean, we can still win this. We have two removal spells up. So they need to play three spells to survive this. They have the insight, I guess. So I'm gonna... Destroy this now before they get to draw. Oh, I should have gone. I should have. No, that was bad. I should have played the extinction to play around either gust. Or dispute. Yeah, that too. Yeah, that was really bad. I could have won this if I just played this. Yeah, yeah, now we're just dead. Yeah, I can push, but I don't have mana to push and pay for the dispute. Yeah, I'm just gonna concede this game. We're dead. We're dead. Um, so if I play, if I play the extinction. Then we probably just win the game. Uh, this was a, the E to Extinction because this doesn't get hit by either Gust or Dispute. So playing this was really, really bad. Fortunately, though, we do have some sideboard cards. Actually, a bunch of them. So this is... Well, I actually want this. I want a Gargaroth's. Pretty bad. Decay doesn't do much. And I do want some pushes. I think. Maybe not. Maybe we just have too much to take out. I don't think I want... Yeah, let's stream these. Man, I have too many sideboard cards for them. Maybe we don't bring that in. Gonna be chilling. So I kind of want some pushes for, for the shark typhoons and uros, but maybe that's just not, not really necessary. No, I do want some pushes. I'm gonna be sideboarding a bit randomly here, but that's fine. Yeah, we probably don't want to play shark typhoon. I'm gonna just run with it. I wanna fill the deck more than I want to do like anything else. I just wanna see how it works. Oh, we, we cut two more cards, that's okay. So we can get the Gust in and we can that get that Sensor in as well. You know what, let's get the, yeah, Typhoon. Yes, I would like to play first. Obviously, we draw the push. I'm keeping this. So opponent is actually saying that we like punted by scooping because they had nothing, which is uh feels bad, but that's okay. That is okay. Yeah, they had nothing. Oh, feels bad. I'm gonna try and play more chill and focus now. Um, do I want a growth spiral or do I want a sadder? I think we want a sadder wayfinder. Let's get that in. Cool, I got some cards. Unfortunately, Narset goes to the graveyard. 
Okay. Red, blue is fine. I'm not playing the ghost spiral here. I'm playing it like on their turn. I'm not running this into either dispute or gust. Or sensor. That sensor doesn't do anything really. Obviously if they're suckling another sensor here. Yeah, let's go spiral. Epiphany. I'm gonna I'm gonna represent another like an either gust or a spiral here. But drawing all these lands, yeah, that's not very good for us. All of those lands. So question is, do they have the guts to just jam? No. We're learning from legacy folks, we're cracking this on upkeep. Just gonna get an island I guess, doesn't really matter, we have all the mana we need. And a wayfinder is cool. So, I'm gonna continue representing things. Um, so, what I'm gonna do... We're gonna try and like make them not play spells. So I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna cast the Wayfinder. Hoping they would think that we definitely have something for four mana. <laughs> Either gust. Bottom. Hopefully they don't just jam into four mana here. Sure, Ura's fine. I mean, Ura's not fine. Ura's gonna kill us in a couple of turns. Unless we get something. That's not something. What card did we reveal? Did we reveal the Overgrown Tomb? So I think we might just have to go for like an epiphany at some point just to copy the satyr and draw a card. So I really just hope that they crack this here. Really just hope they do. Okay, so I think we're going for the epiphany here. Activate ability, we don't have a permanent token. Totally play draw the card. Um, if they don't have dispute, this works. If they do, it doesn't. Okay, it worked. <laughs> we got two triumphs, but this is just... <laughs> Opponent just says, wow. Um, yeah, this could have brought us, got us into the game, but they just have the Uro, so we're probably just dead. We did get to, like, do the epiphany thing, which is nice, and they still have to play around dispute. Which we are representing pretty hard here, but they don't, they can't really, I think. They just have to jam and it's gonna work. Yep, unfortunately.
Okay, so they play the land. Oh, we got the passage. Passage, passage is actually nice. Um, Cause it means we get to kill this Uro. Let's get a swamp. Let's kill this. But we're like we're losing this game by a lot so far. I'm not gonna cycle the other triumph, I'm gonna keep up mana. Again, hoping they do something, like, play scared, but... <laughs> not exactly how we drew it up, not exactly how we drew it up. A reason to cycle this here is because of Thoughtseize. Um, I actually punted by not leaving this up so we can Thoughtseize and Dispute. Sure. Okay, they don't play a land, so I think we're both on like, I don't know if he's on blanks, but okay, that's something that we can draw when we have a bunch of lands in hand. This is nice too. Start by attacking. Let's see if this works. Yeah, and I think we're just passing here. We're just passing because that means I can play Charm through a dispute. Chemistry's inside, sure. Or I can crack this if they do anything like super threatening and try to find a dispute or a gust. Let's make sure we have a stop. Yeah, we have a stop on their second main. Is this just a shark typhoon? Yeah, sure. Nothing. You love to see it. Always yield. Let's draw the card. So, I mean, we're drawing lands, but I think I'm keeping the charm because we just have tracker. Okay. Let's do this. Let's crack. So for how much they, they can ty Typhoon for four. So we can actually just go spiral crack crack to make this bigger than the Typhoon. Should we start by cracking? I think we should. <coughs> Another tracker. I'm not gonna get greedy here though. I'm not casting this pre-combat, I think. I mean, we're missing out on clues, but I don't think, I think it's more likely that we're gonna lose because we tapped out of Sultai Charm. Because they have the Typhoon here, right? They, they gotta have it. Oh, but it's a Typhoon for two? Yeah, sure. That's fine. I can live with that. So should we spiral here? They take six right now. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not spiraling here. I just want to keep mana up. I'm just gonna pass again. I think the best, the best, the worst thing that can happen here is that they get to resolve a reclamation. I think, and like protect it. 
This is probably an Uro, but this is relatively fine because Tracker is just gonna outsize it and outdraw it. Sure, they take all these shocks? Okay. Sure, I'm taking the damage here, that's fine. Uro is super nice. So are we paying life here? I think we do. Wait, are we? So we got a clue, we crack it. No, that's fine, we don't have to pay life. Always yield. I'm just gonna maximize mana here. This is how you maximize mana, I suppose. We cracked the clue, so this actually has revolt. So actually, what I should have been afraid of here is an expansion to kill this. Do I even pay for this? I guess I do. I don't think they have revolt this turn, so I'm just gonna make them use the other dispute here. You love to see it. Do we even have another basic in the deck? I think we do. Yeah, I'm actually, this is actually a misplay. I think I'm, no, I'm not playing tracker. Am I playing tracker here? That's a game. I mean, they kind of have to chump block, right? This was a misplay, but I'm not gonna exaggerate it. I'm not even gonna bother with Uro this turn. I just wanna get... I actually, I am gonna crack this clue too. I just want to draw some more interaction. I mean, it to extinction is interaction. But I think, again, as long as we don't lose to like a big expansion explosion, we should be fine. And they used two disputes, so... I'm, I'm sure there's a way to play this game much better. Um, I'm playing super fast because we're low on clock. And I'm not familiar with the matchup and the decks. So, like, I'm definitely misplaying a bunch here. Um, are we just dead to this anyway? Probably. I'm just gonna chump block Uro. Again, I'm just trying to leave Sultai Charm up. Unfortunately, either Gust main phase and expansion it. I see. So do we just put both of them on top? So do we want to start by adding this? This is main phase? Sure. Top. Top. Okay, they have the other dispute, that's fine. I think we just get to do it all now. Sure. 
Do I even play this? I probably don't play this. Because again, Sultai Charm up is important. Well, maybe not. So do we need to Uro here? Yeah, let's do that. Is this a gust? Oh, the fourth dispute. Yep. Guess you got me, opponent. Guess you got me. Hey Led, what's up? Didn't see you were here. Yeah, I'm I'm not playing like this matchup very well. We probably threw away the first game as well. But um Yeah, it's been a bit it's been a long day and streaming is hard and I'm giving excuses, but it's fine I guess. Um I'm not gonna block here. I mean we're dead to expansion explosion anyway. They're taking all the shocks. All the shocks. Yeah. GG's. So, not a greatest first get, first match. Yeah, you're right. I should have played the tracker. I just... I needed to count my mana and make sure that I have the Sultai charm up. At some point, it probably wasn't important anymore, and they might have even sideboarded out some of the reclamations. Hey, Rambo. Thanks for jumping in. Um, yeah, it was good games. The first one as well. Um, you didn't sideboard them out. I just drew a bunch of lands. I didn't see any of the disputes or gusts that I sideboarded in um, or the thought seizes. So it was a bit rough, but it was these were really cool games, and I basically just threw away the first game. Yeah, I'd love to play an aggro deck. I just had nothing in my hand. I was just playing as aggressively. Like, I was bluffing as aggressively as I could. I was playing Shocklands and... Like... Because I knew I had no chance if you just jammed. So I had... Instead of playing the Charm, I should have used um, E2 Extinction. Which plays both around Dispute and Either Gust. Because I had it and Push. So I can just get rid of two of your sharks and I probably win the game unless you have like... Well, I mean, you can gust a sadder wayfinder, but um, three expansion explosion, no reclamation. This is a good hand. We're keeping this. So these were really good games. I'm not sure about the matchups for this deck. <laughs> That's convenient. I'm not sure about these matchups. Like this deck is probably super good against... <laughs> Probably super good against um, aggressive decks, which I hope we're going to see. But it's probably really subpar against um, Lotus Field and and your deck and Reclamation. Yeah, the fourth dispute was actually really rough. So, um, am I thought in here? I think I am actually. So this is a pretty cool play. Take a look how are we... We're gonna thought is using the forest. Um, the reason being that I don't want to take damage for... Uh, I hate... Like, Knight of Evil Legion is just so good. So I don't know if it's tough matchup because Uro and Gagaroth are just really good against it. Um, our deck can be clunky though. And Satyrs are just so good at blocking. I mean, they're insanely good. I am sort of banking on... On hitting up an untapped blue source with this. Probably a Hinterland Harbor, if we can do that. 
Drowned Catacombs. Drowned Catacombs actually just also works. Back to back disputes was is is actually pretty good. Um did on the first game did you just miss the insight in the graveyard? You had a chemistry's insight which I thought is first turn. But I think I'm blocking here. Am I blocking here? Maybe I just don't. Maybe I want to epiphany this. Yeah, we can wait. So you had an insight in the graveyard that you didn't use for a long time. Um, I wonder if you just missed it or did I miss something? Because I wasn't, I was only half paying attention. They thought is us. Sure. I mean, take the epiphany, I guess. We did bin an island, which is a bit... They take a growth spiral. That's actually nice for us. I think this is wrong by them. Oh, that's nice. Now we get to just do it all. So next turn is going to be nice. Um, we're going to go growth spiral into passage into push the rank that they're going to play. Oh, they do the vault? Sure. Is this a swamp? Yeah, we don't know anything about their hand now. Okay, so let's go ahead and... I actually should have growth spiraled in response. Because if we hit the sensor, I might just use it. No sensor, but we did get to do... We do get to do some nice stuff here. So I'm putting the passage into play. Yeah, this is really nice. Oh, we can actually use this for black. That's cool. So we're gonna get the island here. And then we're gonna go spiral again, take two. And then push them. And if we hit another land, we just get to Epiphany next turn. The knight is going to get pumped if I don't chump block here. So I think I'm going to do that. I think because like, I shocked myself. So I think it doesn't get pumped, pumped right now. Yeah, nice. Oh, Uro is the best. I mean, Uro is just the best, right? <laughs> they just conceded to the Uro. You love to see it. <laughs> oh, man. And you were saying this was a bad matchup. I think this is a pretty nice matchup for us. Um, we probably don't really need the epiphanies here, unfortunately. And... I want to cut two thoughts as at least, but I want to leave a couple in at least. Because, I mean, they have four drops, I think. Maybe we just want to cut one sensor on the draw. Yeah, this looks fine. I mean, I'm basically banking on Gear Hulk, Gargaroth, and Uro to give us so much punch. That we just can win through most of their stuff if we survive. They mold. I think I'm keeping this. It's not the best hand. But it has a bunch of roadblocks. And it cycles. And we can hit Uros with these. So, I mean, this hand's good. Is this a thought is? Jet Wonder, sure. So the real question is, do we cycle the sensor? I think the answer is going to be yes, but we can wait and find out. Thoughts is, do we want to cycle in response? We probably don't. I just want them to concede to this hand, honestly. I just want them to see double wayfinder and concede. They take the Uro. I'm pretty sure that play is just really bad. 
I mean, now we just get to go Satyr, cycle Satyr, and basically Uro is active, mostly. Maybe they can exile it from the graveyard. That's a possibility. Like, they could have Clink to dust or something. More Wayfinders. Love to see it. Oh, let's go for the no possible play yields all value. Uh, I'll take the passage, thank you. So we just now we just have infinite Uros. We're just gonna win on the fourth turn. I don't know if we're actually gonna win, but I mean look at this. We can definitely lose to some things here. We can lose to Embrace, which is gonna be like dealing a bunch of damage. We can lose to a rankle. So maybe we should play around the rankle somehow. So what's the best way to play around a rankle? Probably like trade this and then next turn play a wave. Yeah, I think I'm trading this. Yeah, I think we're just bidding whatever they can have here. Yeah, Chompling also makes this do nothing. We have all the graveyard cards in the world. I'm gonna take the Trium, I think. And I'm not gonna play it. No, I want the Sixth Land. And I won't come into play untapped lands. We have double blue, we have triple blue, we have two green. So let's take a forest here. Well, we actually have everything, but sure. So if they play Rankle, we don't block. I don't think we block anyway. We can just take the damage. I'd rather have the Wayfinder in play to stop any Edict effects. They get the thoughts, is sure. I mean, the threats are in the graveyard. They take the it. I mean, Titan is got... They don't have a hand to... And they didn't attack, they just have a spawn of mayhem. To try and raise they no i don't i don't get it yeah we just won i mean opponent i think i don't know if they misplayed it or they just drew nothing but i just think this is a really good matchup and we had good hands let's try another one 33 followers i was planning on actually eating during the stream but it never happened I will try to get some bites in during while streaming. Um, not ideal, but I didn't really have time to eat real dinner. Okay, let's join the match. Lurus, okay. They reveal Lurus. And they keep. But our hand is dope against Lure's hand, so we're keeping two. Um, it's not ideal. But actually, this hand is super strong. No possibility to play yield off. So, <clears throat> Lure's means either Auras or, yeah, or something like Burn. Our hand is a bit slow, but we do get to go, like, we do have Wayfinder double removal spell on turn three. Well, actually not on turn 3. We don't have that on turn 3. I actually would like to draw Blooming Marsh now. Another Trium. I guess we're just playing Trium here. Makes the mana work. Again, it's a matchup that I'm saying it could be rough, but if we just hit an Uro, this should be like absolutely fine. So what we get to do here, oh, another push is super nice. Another push is really, really good, actually, because I wanted to just go tap land push the Eidolon, but now we can go untapped land, 
push idol on main phase. Do we push the Soul Scar main phase because we want to play around Boris Char? But then it doesn't do four to us, and we'd rather have them like them have a creature in play for the decay. No, I think we should just we should just push this now. I kind of want to wait on the Thoughtseize just to get their Lurus when they put it into their hand. Now, if this is another Eidolon, we get a bit we get a bit punished. Yeah, this is the this is a punish for sure. Um, another push, bail us out. No, come on, come on, deck. Uh, they don't have any more lands. That means that they have four spells in hand. Uh, yeah, we're just playing this sadder. Planning on definitely chump blocking if possible. Oh, and we just miss. Okay. So now we just need to draw an Uro to win, but otherwise we probably just lose. Um, do I want to play the Trium here is the question. We can Thoughtseize, but it puts us to 13, which I don't love. But I think we need the Thoughtseize now because we need to... If they have another Haste creature, we kind of need to stop it. And we do have a solution to Lurus. So I guess we should just start his here. Don't love it. That's really bad for us. I mean, they have eight points of burn. So we just take Swift Spear. I mean, playing the th Thoughtsies was really good here, but now they get to just hit us for, like we're gonna chump block. Oh, they just drew the Swift Spear. Daggers. Sure, yep. You got it, opponent. You have it all. Now we're probably just super dead. Actually, that actually stops... Um, like, does this damage if we cast an Uro from the graveyard. <sighs> I feel like I misplayed this game really hard, actually. Like... We should have this in play. We should have had push for this. But I think at this point we just have to go Uro. And hope to draw a land and hope it's good enough. And even if we don't draw a land, it's not the worst because we're up to 12. So we can still win this game and they're, ta they're stuck on mana. So they can't really do like anything super insane here. I hope. Uh, if I just had that, if this wasn't in pain, this was a salt storm mage. Situation would be so much better. We do get to bluff the push though. Okay, so we have nothing. We're going down to. Five, we're gonna go down to so this does two damage three damage to that player if we cast a spell from the graveyard, sure. Epiphany. So basically we break even on Uro. So we need to draw a removal or an untapped land, sure. Let's go ahead and do that. Thoughts is typhoon sensor thoughts is sadder. Yep. Yep, we go down to two, we go up to five. Okay, we got the land. We did get the land, so... This could actually work. Yeah, exactly, that's what I mean. Game one, I could've just... I didn't have double push, I just had one push, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and block and then I'm gonna decay this oh they're just gonna cast this main phase that's really nice for me I think but I could have played that um that it to extinction which is also black and I have the mana for it so I should have won that game I think well should have I could have won that game now we just get to do it all I mean Uro is so busted look at this game I misplayed it hard and they drew like and we missed a bunch and we're still 
winning, I think. Because now we just have Gear Hulk. We just have Epiphany Gear Hulk, right? Like, whenever we want. Be a Shino Pyromancer. Uh, let's counter. Create a copy and draw. Counter, copy, draw. Uh, we want to keep this Uro. Yeah, we win. Um, <laughs> but definitely, I mean, if I had thought about it like five seconds more, I would have figured out that we can play the more expensive spell to beat the counters, the, con the conditional counters that I thought you might have. So I should have probably just, like I could have won that game, but it's fine. I mean, I'm just testing now. I just want to see how this deck feels. And... Thanks. It's really nice that you uh, popped in. Uh, in math class? Amazing. Thanks for the follow, buddy. Um, hope to talk to you again. And enjoy math class. Um, I don't really like Typhoon here. I mean, we need to cut all the expensive stuff, right? And we want Kalitas, we want Cries. We want Gusts, and I don't even think we want the Downfall, because we're going to cut, like, the Extinction, too. Oh, no, we can cut all Thoughties. Yeah, we can take the Downfall, too. I mean, it's slightly cheaper. Maybe we just want Extinction, because it's... No, actually, yeah. I want to keep an Extinction. It's easier on the mana, and it avoids um, Eidolon. What's impossible? What are you referring to? I didn't catch that. Oh, have fun in math class. <laughs> math class, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. It's gonna be fine. You're gonna do good. <laughs> but um, yeah, I actually just finished my degree in the university. I have one more paper to submit, so I'm probably done with classes for a while now, maybe even forever. That's a weird thought. I mean, this hand plays magic. We get to push their two drop, charm their two other two drop, Uro. I think I have to keep this. I don't think it's getting much better than that. Like, it can get much better than that, but I don't think mulliganing is gonna really help us, and I don't think this hand really is that bad. Another Uro is not the worst. If they have rest in peace, this hand is much clunkier. But if they have rest in peace, I'm like super okay with that. Hide alone, that's fine. And again, I'm not gonna take any risk on them going like, oh, Gargaroth. I mean, we have all the heavy hitters, we just need the lens. I'm not gonna take any risk on them having a boar's charm to save this. I'm just gonna push this. Or triggering light up the stage on their turn pre-combat. We just need more lands. Let's get him. Pyromancer. Did they have the... Well, this is a wizard. Probably a swift spear. Oh, just a soul scar. Now I just want to get the languish. If we draw Languish, I might just use this to cycle. Hinderland Harbor. I mean, gaining three is better than killing something, right? Gaining three and putting a land into play is much better. I suppose. I mean... Situation is not even that bad. I mean, if they have triple burn spell or something, we're probably dead, but... Eat to extinction. You hate to see it. But that's okay. We knew that. <laughs> we are getting rewarded here, though. This is... We don't have double black. 
This is another Pyromancer. This is a wild up, uh, um, a lightning strike and a light up the stage. If this is it, we're just like super dead. Yeah, huh? Oh, just a wild slash. Well, that's double burn spell. So we go down, do we take eight? Go down to four. We're probably dead. Oh, they just have a land in hand. Okay, we actually have. Well, we had a chance. We still have a chance, actually. Surprisingly enough, we still have a chance. So we get a cycle this, we go up to seven, we kill this. They probably put Lurus in hand. And then, so we could just eat to extinction, but I th we need to gain life here. And we need to hit land drops, so we have to do this, basically. Sure, doesn't really matter. Land drop is good. We have a Gargaroth next turn. Should I just pass here? Probably should. Is there anything that can punish me again? Like Boris Charm? I'm just dead to Boris Charm? Sure. I'm just passing here. So Lurus is the reason that they might actually just be in this game. This and like top decking burn spells. Is this a swift spear? No, it's not. It's a burn spell. They have a one mana burn spell. Uh, I'm gonna kill this though. I think it's better killing this than... I don't know, maybe it isn't. Oh, it's not a burn spell. It's just a creature. It's just another soul score. Oh, it's a light of the stage. They should probably play this pre-combat. Yeah, I mean... Well, it wouldn't really have done anything, right? Damn, they, they missequenced that, but sure. Oh man. Well, this turn escalated super quickly. I think we're just dead now. I mean, that was an insane sequence of my opponent. They went light up into Zealot, light up into two more spells. I mean, we can play Gargaroth, but we're just dead on board. Um... Well, opponent, well. This is fine, though. Yeah, I like I like this configuration. We could put in Tyler's Tracker, but it's too clunky versus anything resembling... Anything resembling a removal spell. Um, I am gonna get in the Shark Typhoon and just one Gearhawk. But Typhoon is probably better, especially on the play. Light up, light up, light up. So let's see what do we get here. This hand doesn't do anything. This hand, on the other hand, gets to play magic. So we're keeping it. I think I'm throwing this away. Easy way. I'm gonna turn up the music a bit. If it's... If you hear this too loud, just let me know, but... I really like keeping passage. I want to keep everything else basically, and this should help us find the fourth land. A love song today. Okay, that's an indicator that they might not have many lands in hand. Mm. 
<clears throat> Either gust is nice. So plan is Saturn, chum block, next turn, spiral plus gust, I think. Well, that plan loses really badly to Eidolon of the Great Revel. So, alternatively, we can keep Gust up if they do nothing, Golf Spiral, if they play Eidolon, Gust it, and then untap Spiral, Satyr, which I like better. Cause you asked for it, cause you need one. This is gonna be awkward if Satyr misses on lands and if we don't draw from a Golf Spiral because we need the fourth land. So, Ash Seal it. Should I just cast this? Kinda think I should. Yeah, I think I should. I'm just gusting this. This is just stopping so much damage. Let's see. And I'm kinda sure they don't have any more lands. I mean, look at this. They put on the bottom. Yep. Yep. I like it. So actually we just need to hit, we need, we need to land on the top two cards of the library for this to actually work. Which is a bit awkward. Yeah, I could, but Eidolon says three or less, right? If that should happen. So do I just Saturn this? Do I just pass the turn again with Sensor up? Because we have the read on them having no more lands. I think I do actually. What do you think, Lev? Should I, should I keep sensor up? I believe that there is a reason. I mean, sensor is gonna get something, I think, anyway. At some point. I mean, obviously, highest... Yeah, I think I'm just being sadder. I think you're right. We just need to hit the land drops here. And and look for the Uro. Yeah, so now do we just take the Triumph? It doesn't really matter, right? We can just take this and live up Cycle Sensor if we want to. And we hit the Uro, which is amazing, which probably makes me want to cycle the sensor, actually. Now that I think of it. And chum block with this Satyr for like any point of damage that it saves. Is this a resting piece? It's a swift spear, okay. Is this another swift spear or a removal spell? Yep. Love it. I think opponent should have just attacked here. Yeah, I'm just cycling this. Let's F6 this. I mean, we just get to Uro, right? <laughs> we get to Uro and we still have... Um... Yeah, this is nasty. So we have two green. Let's not get the swamp. We have... Green, blue. We have double black. We have green, green, blue, blue. Let's just get more green, I think. Yeah, let's get more green. Now I need something to rely on. Do I have anything that does anything with the graveyard? Um, I'm gonna put the Blooming Marsh into play. I'm probably cycling this Trium. Oh, they just f 6 into attack step? This is nice. <laughs> Are they just conceding? No. I mean, it's nice. I would have loved them to actually play the game properly because I'm interested in how... Like, I'm testing here. 
I just want to see what's going on. But um, if this is the only thing they could do anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Need someone to rely on. So at this point we can just leave. We can cycle another Uro here. Oh, we still have a land to play for the turn. <clears throat> I think I'm just cycling another Uro while they're tapped out. I'm gonna keep this one. Always scares me to misclick that. Yeah, so this is what I said about Satyr. It's just making... It just makes... Did I leave double black up? I did. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna... Not take the shock here, actually. I don't think it really matters. Um, Probably should've... Yeah, I don't really think it matters. So, Satyr just lets you find Uro so consistently and cast it so consistently early that it just single hand And it chump blocks. It single-handedly makes these matchups good. Look at this. I mean, of course, opponent had like a clunky draw, but Uro just single handedly won the game, basically. Oh, it's nice actually doing some. Oh, I need to, I need to fix this, right? We're playing Pioneer League, and we're two and one. It's actually nice to do some winnings on stream, um, showing everyone I'm not a wimp. So how are you doing, Lev? Um, did you end up? I think you did end up qualifying for the Mana Trader series, right? Um, when is the when is the Swiss going down? Is it this Sunday? <clears throat> oh, this is a rematch. Yes, I would actually play first. This hand is awkward. I, they were on mono black, right? This is the second round opponent. Yeah. This hand is awkward. I think we can mold this. This hand is super awkward, but we keep in it, I think. Because it has Uro, basically. So one of the premises of this deck is that we have, with Fabled Passage and Triumphs, we have enough land types to activate these consistently. So I'm trying to play more. Now obviously, it can backfire, but, um, but I think it's worth it. Um, I'm gonna play the tap land here. I'm gonna play tapped. I'm not censoring. I don't think I'm censoring anything. Am I though? I think I want cards in the graveyard, actually. So I don't think I want to take the two mid damage and sensor. Like a one drop or a two drop. If they're if they thoughts is I am gonna cycle sensor. In response, because I want lands. Sure. This hand is kinda mediocre, I think. For them, unless they have like a spawn next turn. Okay, we drew another land, which is really... Oh, we drew the push too. This is super nice. Um, any reason to keep up green? Not really, right? Doesn't really matter. Another epiphany. I mean, these cards are so strong, they might just pull us out of this, but we need lands to do that. Um, this is four of our six. Of This is three of the four six drops we have, and we have another one on the bottom, I think. Oh, you love to see it. That's great. So I'm definitely taking the push on the Mita Vault. It just slows them down so much.
I don't think opponent is playing patient enough. Um, is this a knight? Yeah, we took four though. Yeah, no, I guess this is a good play. Yeah, this is a good play by them. I'm just talking trash for no reason. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. That's past the turn. So I'm going to do yield until here. Yeah, okay. So this, this gambit paid off. So I'm trying to make them think that I'm f 6 for them to... Yeah, figure it won't work. I kind of wanted them to pump the knight, but it wasn't going to work. Like, if they had thoughts, is they would have just taken my decay. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. This was a cute play. Really don't mind it. Two more cards for Uro. We can get there. Just hardcast rider. Okay. Sultai charm. Do we? So next turn we take six. We are probably. I think we have this Sultai charm here. Like draw to discard one. Because we need to do something about these. If they have a land drop into Rankle, I mean, sure. I don't think we're beating that anyway. By taking six and not doing anything. And it fuels the Uro for next turn. So I guess I'm charming. Green, blue, black. And we could draw a uh, Fatal Push. This is nice. Oh, I just need to discard one card. Let's discard the Epiphany. Okay, we might stand a chance. I mean, actually, if we don't, like, if we just get to untap and draw a land, an untapped land, this Gearhulk should close the game. They have the Rankle, probably. Yeah, okay. Let's see what's up. Yeah, so it's it's not two turns, it's one turn because we drew it, did it on our turn. Um, I don't know if Gearhulk is going to be enough to get us out of this. Each player discards a card. Do I just discard? I just discard the Epiphany here, right? This is actually really good for us. Now we actually stand a chance. Because if we draw the land, we can triple, triple Gearhulk and bounce their board or something insane like that land well we have to play to our outs right um do i just do it now so we don't lose to another rider so what's the plan we fetch go gear hulk epiphany Copy Gear Hulk, bounce that, draw a card, and then copy Epiphany, bounce that, draw a card, and then push the Rankle. And then we just die to another Rankle if they have it. So, do we want to beat another Rankle or another Murderous Rider? Is the question. But I think they might just get beat of all up. Yeah, I mean, this, this can be insane. Um, this can be really good for us. Yeah, right? I mean, we just don't want to lose to... An we can lose to another Rankle, that's fine. Or to a Demonic Embrace, but that's fine too, I think. Oh, this is gonna be... I mean, can we... How do we clip things? Does anyone know? Do you know how to clip? On Twitch? Because this is worth it. This is... Insane. We're gonna do it all. Okay, Epiphany. Opponent, you're in for a world of hurt. Cast. Um, return, token. Draw. We wanna... This is the bounce, right? So we wanna bounce this. Copy this. Draw a card. Oh, are we just gonna be dead to the mutable though? No, we have two blockers. Okay. 
We have three blockers. This is insane. Turn, copy, draw. Sure, now we just get to push because we have revolt up to kill this. Your go, opponent. Your go. I mean, we, we definitely win if we get to untap. Hey, the burn play, what's up? Didn't see you here. No, they just have the other uncle. I can't believe that. <laughs> oh, man. Look at this board. Ah, uh, it's fine though. We got to have some fun at their expense. So are we on last times? I'm just gonna get rid of all of the thought seizures, I think. Well, maybe not all. I'm probably not even sideboarding consistently. Ah, oh, I can't believe we lost that game. Yes, I would like to play first. Uh, this hand is amazing. Uh, keep. This hand is just super good. I don't think I could drop a better land, a better hand. Maybe like this being Kalidars or something. Not, even, not, don't even know. This is insane. Let's see if we can get this match up twice. Um, yeah, I think it is. Um, I think dodging removals is better. I'll get, I guess I'll take Watery Grave because we have a Breeding Pool. This is too green. No, I'm actually going to take Breeding Pool. Doesn't really matter, right? I can't believe we didn't get that game. So sad. Remorse is annoying, yeah, because it actually exiles. On the other hand, our hand is pretty good. I'm not blocking here. Our hand is pretty good, it's still. And then you just get to hit all the wayfinders. I kinda wanna take the shock here. So I can double block the knight and then kill it when they pump. Or just get the trade. And they know about the push, so if I just, if I pay this to life, they can't even attack. So I'm saving one damage, but I'm preventing them from casting. I mean, I'm playing Satyr, right? And I'm preventing them from casting spawn. But I'm kind of okay with spawn, so I'm not going to do that. Like, I don't really mind if they play a spawn of Mayhem next turn. Another passage is nice. I think it's better than an island here. And I'm gonna play the Breeding Pool tapped. They know about it. This means we have Revolt triggered for days. Should I? Should have I attacked here? If I'm not planning on blocking anyway. Probably. Oh, they thought this too. It would be a really shame to lose this game because we're only drawing... Oh, but this... this, Them doing this... Do you have the push? I'll take it. Yep. Big misplays. Big misplays. I think at least. That's annoying. I have to play the passage here because I want Revolt to get rid of uh, Rankle. 
I mean, it's not like we're in that bad of a spot. Depends on what they have in hand. But we kind of need to draw spells at some point. I'm taking this damage. They don't have utility lens so far, which is really good for us. The Thoughtseize? Sure. Yeah, I figured like, they might have another Thoughtseize, but I'm willing to take the risk to actually make them have it. Yep. We have nothing opponent. What about the Thoughtseize? Yeah, opponent, they played weird last match too. Um, I might be missing something. They probably have the Rancor here, right? They're stuck in three lands, they didn't play a threat. And they wanted the Thoughtseize to push really badly. I'm gonna do this on upkeep. But yeah, it is weird. I'm gonna fetch for thinning here. Usually it doesn't really matter, but we do have the passage for the next push. So I'm good. Uro. Shark Typhoon is noise. I I am playing the catacomb here, I suppose. Am I even attacking? I don't think I'm attacking. I don't think it's worth it. The opponents just they're playing weird for a while now. I think if they're not doing anything other than Scrounger, I'm just waiting on the Shark Typhoon so I can make it a 4-4. I can take three more damage here. I can chum block if I want, but I don't know if I want to. Do I want to chum block this? I can just try and trade the Typhoon here. They could have Murderous Rider. I think I'm just doing this now. I just want to dig deeper into the deck and I think the sooner we get... Like, they can't return it right now. They can't return this. They don't have any more creatures. So, I think we should wait less and try and trade. If they use a removal, I'm like super okay with it. They probably do, which is absolutely fine by me. And we get the Kalitas, which means I'm not blocking. Now let's get that push and punish them real hard. Or like abrupt decay or some oh, oh Gear Hulk. Um Gear Hulk is interesting. I don't no, they exiled it with the remorse. So I don't have an Uro. Uh this is the only reason this is still a game. Uh Right? I don't have any any pop up here, so Do I just leave Gear Hulk up? Probably want to play the Kalidus. Yeah, I mean, Remorse is really good in that regard. I'm just playing the Kalidus here. If we get to untap, we're, they're just dead. And even if we don't, this makes them have a removal this turn. And... And this bits a Ranko, and then we have a Gear Hulk. Yeah, I think this is fine. I'm not attacking again. You need glasses. I've actually been wearing, like, I I have glasses since third grade, which means, what, 15 years or something? So, maybe, bro, a lot more than that. Oh, they're just hard casting this? Yeah, game's over. Game is over. Oh, we just get the cry, but that's not fun. They get to decide what to do. I don't even want to cry this. Now we're just ahead on life. Let's go. Yeah, we won. That's fine. <sighs> Anything different on the draw? Kind of want another thought is actually for this. You for sensor? I don't know, I'm just randomly sideboarding here. Yeah, I just want to get the curve lower. Maybe we want the trackers, actually. Maybe like... 
something like this on the draw. Just get the trackers in. But they just trade anything. Maybe we should have gotten them on the play. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna try that. No possible play yield. Oh. Awesome hand, keep. Tread Wanderer. Cries are really good right now, I think. Do they have the remorse? Do they have the... What do they have? I don't know. They have... Nothing? I guess it means that they have a removal spell? Do I just want to keep Sensor up? I mean... What's up? So I think what I'm really afraid of here is them killing this, attacking for two and resolving a spawn. So I'm just not gonna let them do it. I'm just gonna keep sensor up. Because I think we're bidding mostly anything else. Sure. Nothing works for me. Do we cycle sensor? I don't think we do. That's nice. So we can actually just do that next turn and keep sensor up as well. We could just do this now. Because then we get to languish. But if they have rankle. Rankle doesn't do it. Spawn doesn't do it. Thoughtsy's spawn does it, I suppose. But we get to Uro, so should be fine. I'm just jamming this. I don't know what they have, but I don't mind them not doing anything. Um, and I would love them to play like a 4 drop into... Into my language. So, sure. So I can't keep Sensor up this turn. Which I would love to do, to hit the Rankle that they're probably going to play on me. But even if they play Rankle, we just get to languish it away. It's a Kalitas? Man, I'm sure happy we used the Uro this turn. Oh man. Bringing in Kalitas. I don't think it's good for them, bringing in Kalitas. I mean, we have to kill it now, right? But... Next turn we just go... We end of turn cycle this and then go Uro next turn? Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is why I played the Uro. Um, Rankle actually fuels this Uro by putting more cards in the graveyard, so... Don't really mind that. This comes into play untapped, right? Yeah. This was frightening for a moment. Oh, they have Urborg too. Yep, Languish. Let's go, buddy. I love our position. We can still lose this game for sure. Um, but it's going to be pretty difficult. It involves a Thoughtseize and more 4-drops. Or more Uros. Or more Kalitases. Yeah, sure. sure. So I'm going to let them put the trigger on the stack, and then I'm going to cycle this. Especially if they make us discard. Which they probably shouldn't. Each player loses one left and draws a card, sure. Yep, that's a good play by opponent. Oh, now we definitely cycle sensor. Another wayfinder is nice. This actually also um, insulates Uro from sack triggers, which is super nice. If 
you put your heart into it. Yeah, I really will try and put my heart into it. Actually, I should have just played a Wayfinder first. Um, Because it gets me perhaps a land, which I would rather put into play. Yeah, uh, I'm taking the Triumph here. Welcome back, Uro. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get that. Let's get those triggers in, boys and girls and anyone here. Let's get these going. Let's draw the push. No push. Come on. I mean, they probably have answers to this, but they have to spend all their mana to do it. And if they don't, we just win. They have a Calitas and a removal. It's a bit awkward. They don't have the... Okay. My fragile strength is gone. Set me free. Each player loses one life and draws a card. Sure, I'll take that. Another sensor. We drew mono sensors off of this Ranko. Okay, Calitas. Sure. I mean, unfortunately. Do they have the removal? They have the Heartless Act. That's really bad for us. Um, Fabled Passage. So we really need like action. Push is nice. I'm gonna start by cycling, I think. So if we hit another Uro with this, this is one, two, three, four, five. Should we just start by casting Wayfinder? This is the second Kalitas. I think I'm going to start by cycling. Spire. Crossfire is more cycling, I suppose. I just want to hit the other Languish or another push or another Cry, which would be amazing here. So I'm gonna start by doing this. Shark Typhoon. Shark Typhoon could have been good. It still can be good next turn, I suppose. Stopping that Ranko, maybe? We could just hard cast Typhoon this turn, right? And then hope we don't die this turn so we can start doing stuff. Should we go for the hard cast Typhoon? What do you say, chat? Should we go for Hardcast Typhoon? So we take, if they have a removal spell, we take five, nine. And they still have two creatures, two super good creatures in play. But I think it's our best way out, considering we're not. Because then we can push that or no we can cry this dies and then we can push and we get a 3-3 three, three, and we can push that and then we can Saturday wayfinder I think this is fine I think we I, I'm gonna go for it um oh I could oh that was a big misplay actually that was a really big misplay actually so I should have just used this for black. 
Because that would let me trigger revolt for sure next turn. Man. If we lose to this, it's 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 a bummer. Mute vulture. Are they just gonna make a sack? They are, right? So I'm gonna chum block. Cause they're just gonna make a sacrifice something anyway. We don't have much choice here, which means we might just like lose to this misplay on push. Make sure discards and draws, sure. This might be the misplay that loses us this match. Because I think other than that, we're doing pretty fine. Oh, Gearhulk. You love to see it. Except we can't trigger Revolt, which is super annoying. We're in such good shape if I just don't misplay this. So, okay, let's think about it. This is six mana. So we can do Satter into Cry, get rid of all the things, push, Kalidus, have two blockers up. Still have three mana to cycle this, but it doesn't do anything for us. Otherwise, maybe we just need to sat here. here. So I can cry. Unfortunately, cry doesn't trigger revolt. No, I'm gonna play Satyr. I'm gonna bank on them playing into my card somehow, I think. Oh, sure. That makes it so much easier. Um, <laughs> this is also an option. Sack this. Get an island. So now I have enough enough to cry but I kind of want to just go double push man this is tough Okay, let's do this. <clears throat> I'm just gonna double push. Um, like using Gear Hulk. And we're not even dead to Ranko. Okay, let's get it. Let's do it. They could for sure just have another Ranko. They could for sure. But I don't think we can... Maybe I should have just waited for their turn to do all this. It's all instants, so probably. Man, magic is hard. Yeah, if I had have done it on my turn, things would look much better. Every, uh, 
We still have so many draws that just win us the game. Yeah, Brankle's fine. They only have two cards and a rider, I suppose. Are we just dead? No, we can chop block for days. Let's chump block a bunch. Maybe they read us on the anguish and don't cast anything. Yeah, this is nice. Push is nice. Push is really nice actually. Setter too. So this is six, we have all six mana up. So this is actually really nice because shark isn't dead. And a three three shark is actually pretty good. Now let's just hit an Uro and get this game over with. No Uros here. But again, this is really nice. They're gonna draw a bunch of cards with this castle. Oh, this is second cry. No, this is this is the cry we cast. This is Calitas though, in the graveyard. They drew cards. They take a lot of damage from that drawing. They can't do much about it. They might just attack into this shark, thinking I'm gonna trade, but then I'm gonna push this and eat a mutavolt or something. Yep, this is exactly what we want. Okay, let's block. Last land in deck. Last fetchable land in the deck. Okay. This was a nice sequence for us. Still many a cards that make us feel bad. Sure, Knight of Ebonegion is a big one. Demands a chump blocker. Sure, this is more creatures that don't do much. So we could start attacking in the air, maybe, depending on what we draw. Let's not draw lands though. Hero's downfall is a good one. Um, I'm gonna attack for four in the air, I think. Because it cuts off their draws from the... Cuts off their draws from the castle. Their draws from castle. And this actually means we can kill them in like a turn or two. I'm not playing this land. Okay, sure. Yeah, let's pass the turn. More lands. More lands is good for us. Opponents flooding. Let's get this game. This is a 3-3 that we can use to eat the knight, the Marius Rider. And I'm definitely not blocking this with the Satyr, I think. Do I block this with the Satyr? They have all their mana anyway, so... If I block this, I got on, we go down to 4. Let's not block, I don't know why. Probably there's a good reason to not to block here or not block here. I'm not sure which one it is. Maybe just trading it now before they have a Kalidus or something. Like, but do they have the third Kalidus really? Yeah, Dread Wonder, sure. 
If they draw a card, yeah, that would dread one for sure. Oh, another knight. Now we just need to jump block. Try and let's cycle this. E2 extinction is super nice. So, meaning we have one, two, three, we need to, can leave four back and hit them for six. And if they draw a creature, if they draw a rankle, so we get the rankle, chum block here, eat here, eat here. We, hit, we can handle four creatures, which means if they, even if they top deck a creature, we should win. I think we got it. I really think we did. I'm gonna play this now. Yep, yeah, sure. Man, we have more Uros in the deck, right? I'm not just missing something. They drew a land. This is nice. This is nice too. Are we just dead to a removal spell? Did I misplay this? No, we're not. We're fine. Yeah, we got it. Man, that was close. Well, I'm going to play the last match of this league and then we're going to call it quits So for the day. So let's try and get that 4-1. I'd love that. Haven't had a 4-1 in a while. Man, that was a game. Shark Typhoon came in clutch. Poor opponent playing us two, two times in the same match. In the same league, for us at least. Is this better here? I think it is. Much more discernible, maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. One minute, 15 seconds waiting. Come on. Come on, Moto, you can do better. Come on, Moto. I want to get that fifth match. I want to I wanna get the 4-1. Haven't had that one in a while. Okay, let's get it. Yeah, we got the play. Okay, we want to play first. Let's see. Good luck to opponent. I don't recognize their, na their name. Uh, we have a, an acceptable hand. I'm keeping this. Like, this is basically what we want to do, right? We got to go try them into... Live up sensor plus spiral, and if we get to spiral, we get to go sadder plus sensor up. And if we don't, and we sensor something, we go spiral into wayfinder. Okay, we should get this. Oh, I think I played this opponent like recently ish. Should I just play the wayfinder here? No, not really. I'm just gonna play the force. They might not play around a sensor, but I'm not censoring anything they do in the second turn. So, anyway, so it's like okay. My plan is definitely like go spiral, live sensor up for three drop. Thoughtsies? I don't like thoughtsies here. I mean, we could censor this, right? We can just censor this and then go spiral into Wayfinder. This is actually nice. 
I think. I'm gonna try that. I don't know if this is good or not. But we're gonna give it a shot. Yeah, they have the land. They have another creature or another thought is. Okay, creature is fine. Knight is good. Knight is the worst creature for us that they could play, but this is fine. Oh, right. We have main deck languages. So... I think I'm growth spiraling anyway. Let's leave green up. Another one. This is nice. I'm gonna try and bait them into the first language. Just hit Uro, please. No Uro, come on. Do we get the Triumph so we can shuffle? So we can draw, maybe? Or just a passage? I think we just want a passage. Maybe we just want to try him. Let's get to try him. I'm not sure if this is correct or not. Yeah, this league is very diverse. I don't know if this is like... If this gives any um, indication to what Pioneer actually... Oh, this is great. To what Pioneer actually looks like. I guess not, but, oh, this is the best for us. They don't even have a land. But if Pioneer looks like this, then, I mean, just just playing this deck might be good. Uh, let's, let's get rid of this board. And I'm not playing the Trium yet. Um, I want to cycle it. Especially since we drew the push. I mean, if he plays another creature here, no? Oh, yeah, this is perfect. Thoughtsies, now we get to know what they are up to, too. I'm gonna start by cycling, though, I think. Let's start by cycling. Sensor. Sure. Let's Thoughtsies. Do we even want to Thoughtsies this? We don't want the thought is this. So I'm not thought -ising. Here's the reason. I want to keep up sensor. Um, play is they're going to attack. If they pump, sure. I'll fatal bush. If they don't, then we take the one and they did probably cast something big. If they do, sure. I'll sensor it. Okay, just take the damage. Sure. This is one damage. I can take it. Oh, this was actually really bad. It le this lets them get back the champion. Is this a mayhem devil? A um, spawn of mayhem? So I actually think I'm just gonna languish this. Ugh, this is rough. I'm trying to think of the best way to keep them off off triggering this because this letting this attack was a misplay. Been a while since I felt this way about someone. Kind of want to just take my value here. I'm just going to take my value here. Yeah, I know, but like if we draw land, we can still keep up Sensor. And... Yeah, maybe I should have censored that. I don't know, it just feels weird when I can languish this away. I mean, I might want to cycle the Sensor at some point, too. Yeah, now we just get to do it all. I mean, I know, I know I got bailed out of it. I don't know if this is a good play or not. But now we can censor the next thing they do and not get hit another time by the night. Hardcast Blood Soak Champion, sure. This and uh, uh, yeah, sure. Now I'm just gonna cycle the censor. So this is the punish, right? This is them saying, look, we still have a board, but this is the deck. Um, I'm not even going to bother with the push here. We have six mana, right? Yep. Let's gargle off them. Yep, got the, the act. 
I feel so rewarded right now. I mean, this is ridiculous. I don't know if this was like I just me just drawing very well or just picking the right lines, but no removal spell, please. No opponent, please. No, nothing. Okay. Um, should I thought he's pre combat? I think I should. No, I should just go to combat. I mean, what could they have here? Lands. They were, if they had a removal, they would have used it. So I'm not doing anything here. I'm just attacking. Yep. Let's get the free three. Welcome to hell, opponent. Um, I'm gonna spiral now, though. I'm gonna sad it here. Yeah, this matchup is so good for us. Oh, we even get to Uro next turn. Nice. They didn't do anything. Yeah. Sure. Let's go on the same. Do we want the trackers though? Maybe if we get to be on the play, I want the trackers. Because then they can actually grow to a relevant size on turn 4. But even then, turn 4 is so late. Um, let's just cut... Two epiphanies as we did before. A gear hulk and two thought teasers. I mean, my main conclusions about the deck is that... Galgaroth and Uro are pretty stupid and it doesn't really matter what to do with them. So maybe being more proactive is just better. Because, I mean, Gearhulk and Epiphany were insane, but... Like, a couple of times, but is it just better than jamming Nisa's? Not sure. This hand's awkward. They kept. This hand is awkward. I think I'm mulliganing this. The reason is that we have so many double black spells that we actually... N yeah. We have so many double black spells. We just want to hit them um, on time. I'm just going to put the watery grave back here, I suppose. It is the second blue, though. It's, yeah, I mean, let's put the forest back, actually. Let's see what's up. Come at us, opponent. I mean, this hand could be a modern hand, for what it's worth. That's uh, a bad one for us. Fable passage is uh, this. Decent. Yep, this is the draw. Now we just to get need to get the Carnarium going or the Languish. That's not either of them. Um, sure. Man has been working quite okay here. Like, generally. Oh man, opponent just has everything. Is this a Thoughtsies too? I'm gonna go spiral here and see what we can what can we do island do we want to cycle this sensor I think we do I think at this point we just want to fuel this euro as fast as possible right I 
I mean, obviously this, like we can cycle into the language now, but we can also cycle into the card that is in language and then draw the language. Now they have to take Uro, which is quite okay for us. It's not amazing, we're taking a bunch of damage, but it's also because we drew a bunch of lands. And we dug deeper into the deck, sure. Yeah, we're taking six damage here, that's a lot. That's not a language. Not in the slightest. Sure, some of the games you just can't win. Um, I believe in memories. I'm gonna play the tapped land here. This is game two, right? Yeah, it is. We're up a game. So now we got opponent thinking, what if we have removal spells? What if we drew the push to punish and they're not going to play around that? Well, they sort of are. So this is seven, we go down to six. We basically need a removal here, a mass removal here. We need language actually, we need just language because this knight is not not going anywhere anytime soon yeah, and we got the cry yeah we just did um had the downfall on top sure yeah i still like this setup i think it's better i think it's good okay final game of the day guys let's get it fellas Yes, I would like to play first. I'll keep this hand. It's a bit awkward, but I'll keep it. We're gonna take the shock to Saturn too, unless they thought sees us here. Yeah. We're gonna take the shock to Saturn too, and then Abrupt decay. Oh, nice. And then next turn we have decay. Up. I mean, I could play it top tier, but I don't really want to use this push right now, I think. Sure, non top 10 is nice. Double push is. <laughs> in the graveyard is interesting. Taking the damage here. This is not a crucial turn. Turn three is the crucial turn to prevent damage. Oh, another Satyr is nice. Another Satyr is actually really, really good for us. Because this lets us double block. We have a bunch of black, right? Let's just get this island and play the cemetery. This lets us double block knight and then kill the scrap if scrounger. It puts them in some really awkward spots. I would actually like to eat to extinction this if I can. Actually, I might just double block the knight, take the damage. I'm gonna do this anyway. I'm gonna take the trade if it's possible because we have the language. Yeah, at which point I think we're just gonna languish next turn. Because we could push this. But like, I don't really care about pushing this. Maybe I do care about pushing this. Yeah, I mean, this, this is a good one too, right? And then I can keep it up to get their rankle or... Yeah, this is this is a good one. Yeah. I'm just pushing this. Yeah, you're both right. Hey, Niv, what's up? Hope everything is going well for you. 
passage is what would have been nice. Would have made me maybe keep the push. Good, good. Good is good. Are you, are you still uh, studying? You're studying abroad, right? Oh, cool. One more year is not a lot. I actually, I'm actually just finishing my degree now, so it's kind of weird, this whole situation. Um, do I just take this trade? Not really, right? I just eat this. They don't have... Yeah. This digs deeper into the deck. I'll take that. We have a bunch of removal spells. Do we want this Gulf Spiral on top? I think I'm putting it in the graveyard, yeah? It's the same. Yeah, let's put it into the graveyard. Knight of Ebon Legion. They have a lot of cards in hand. So I really wanna... We need to grind them out. So we need to use this language like as best as we can. This and now actually survives languish. I swear I put it in the graveyard. I'm gonna start with Grove Spiral here. Woodland, sure. So these satyrs are actually pulling tons of weight here. They might have to murder us rather than man step. Cause I mean we we'll just keep we can keep double blocking, forcing them to pump the knight and then killing it, which is tons of tempo for us. And otherwise they can't really attack. Yeah, it resolves. Are they playing around dispute or just living? They're just living night mana up, right? No, this is this is all really nice for us because we just get to cycle this for free now. <laughs> Can we get like an Uro or something? Okay, Shark Typhoon works. Do we just hard cast this Typhoon? Do we just go for it now? Or do we just keep mana up so we can cycle this? No aura for me. But Typhoon has been so good so far. We should probably play more of the good cards. They have three cards in hand. We can chump lock both. I mean, I think I just want to hard cast Shark Typhoon, right? Yeah, I guess cycling it is probably better. It also let me keep like all the removals up, but I really wanna... We had a game earlier where we... Against a mono black opponent where we hard cast Typhoon after drawing a bunch of lands and then just managed to somehow... Somehow get back into that game and win it. Like through a couple of rankles and then recurring other creatures and just like hitting them in the air and chum blocking and... We saw one Uro and so now we just get to eat this for free. Which I kind of like. And if they want to use removal of, on this, I'm quite okay with it. Let's get more, we have triple blue, triple green. Let's get more green sources into, in here. I'll take my value. This is a grindy game. And this actually just starts attacking them with the castle in play. It's relevant. I'm blocking here. Do they have like the murderous rider and they just misclicked oh we drew another language that's nice so they missed on three damage nice 
And they tapped out from the night, so... At this point, we're probably just languishing. I think. Oh. Well then. Never mind. I love Kalita so much. Um... <laughs> yeah. Kalidas is just so... I'm gonna decay the knight now, I think. Do you even wanna decay the knight? I think I'm just decaying the knight now. Hey Wombo, welcome back. Um, this is the third mono black matchup. No, I don't give- I don't really mind the scrounger right now. Um, I wanna get rid of the- well, maybe I should have. The knight is just so threatening. Rankle, sure. I mean, if they don't have Heartless Act as their last card. Yeah. Um, no blocks. So, they probably don't have the push. <laughs> when we discard Languish, they know that they're- We're sacrificing creatures? Sure. Um, I'll discard the language, I think. Yeah. I'll discard a, a language. And sacrificing creatures is great for us, because we just get more zombies when they sacrifice. So, they discarded spawn. They had a bunch of expensive cards in hand. I'm sacking the Sati here. I mean, they, it might mean that they drew the push. Yeah, we got the four one. Nice. Um, yeah, I'm super happy. So, about the deck, basically, I think what we need to do is get rid of like these four cards and just put in good cards. That's so sad. What's so sad? The, the cat, like that Ranko. Yeah, it was super sad. <laughs> Tragic, really. Oh yeah, you did cost me the 5 -0. Actually, my misplay cost me the 5 -0, cause I could've forced the game 3 there. Um, well, that's okay, that's okay. I if, if I'm losing, I might as well lose to like, nice people. So... Anyway, yeah, this deck has been really good. Uro is just insane. Garagoroth was really good as a compliment to Uro in the aggressive matchups. We definitely need more ways to handle um, like combo and combo control decks, but we can probably get the sideboard to address these matchups better. And yeah, I don't know. This is probably too cute. I mean, it's hard for me to say it, but when you have broken cards that are cheap and draw you more cards, you should play cheaper cards and these do not qualify. I probably want one more Typhoon. The charm was pretty good so far. Uh, I might make the decay into a second charm. I know it's inefficient, but it's been super useful today. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, should we raid someone? It feels kind of awkward raiding. Can we? Let's see how this works. So let's pick a channel to raid. Channels I follow. Do is Jose up? Who's up? Let's see if we can read. 27 Flint. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it's probably a good idea. I wish I could play Field of the Dead. Just to get uh, the full feeling of the broken cards they printed in the last year or so. Let's see if there's anyone that's smallish that raiding him wouldn't be embarrassing. Raiding them wouldn't be embarrassing. And then, and that I know. We can raid Sandy Dog. Sandy Dog's awesome. He's been killing it, like forever. And Becca Scott, Becca is streaming. Didn't know she was streaming, like ever. Anyway, yeah, let's ra let's go and raid a uh, Sandy Dog. Where is he? Is it like this? So I can take a look at the chat. Oh, he's in a podcast with Jose. Really? We can do that. I mean, it's a bit embarrassing, right? Raiding with seven people. 
but we're gonna do it anyway. So thank you all for joining in and interacting and that. It was just amazing. We got the 4-1. I'm gonna post on Twitter like um, my thoughts on the deck and the next list. So um, keep you can follow me to keep up with that. And uh, thank you everyone for coming. Wait, what? He's not with he's not with Jose, right? Oh yeah, I can definitely do that. I'm gonna tag you. Is it even raiding? I don't know how this works. Um, so I'm wondering if the raid actually worked. They're playing the vile Titan list, right? It's super funny. They play a primeval Titan. They play like a vile, an either vile value list with primeval Titan. Which is super funny. Dried off the top might steal with this. Might steal. That's not a dried off the top. Um, let's see if we can get that raid. We drew five spells total. Yeah, so I guess I tried to raid. I don't know if it worked. Um, thank you all guys for chiming in. It was awesome. See you next time.